We're back with another video. We're gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe. We ain't gonna do no extra intro because I know y'all saw the, the motherfucking, what's it called? The other intro? No, no. Words. The title. We know you saw the title. So, <laughs> so don't worry about the intro. Let's get to it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for real though and share this video. We gonna wait. Yeah. All right, let's get into this video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the time we lost our virginity. <laughs> Much goes fucked up. All right, so listen, listen, listen. It started off I was either a junior or a senior. I don't even know which one. You lost your virginity as a senior. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're supposed to be my friend. Ain't cool. Y'all want the truth or y'all want to? Y'all want the fake? <laughs> y'all want the fake news? What do y'all want? I'm gonna give him the truth. That nigga ain't getting no pussy all through high school, boy. All right, so there's this girl. I had her on Snapchat. I ain't really like know her or nothing. And I had her on Snapchat for a minute. Don't tell me how I got her on Snapchat. I just had her. But one day she posted a, a snap and I was kind of like, fat ass booty, a pretty face, skinny waist. But right next to her, like she drew like a, a stick figure and she was like, oh, this is my man. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is my time. Cause I, this is time to I was, shine, wait, I was waiting for my, I was waiting for my opportunity, you know? <laughs> I ended up like just talking to her and we just kept talking for like, Three days. Damn, that boy got that thing in three days! Wait, and, no, no, but this is how it went. We were just talking. Matter of fact, I think it, it was more than three days. It was a minute. Maybe it was like two weeks. I'm not even sure, to be honest. I don't even remember. But I remember, this is when Snapchat had like the best friends. It said that I was her best friend. You feel me? And I don't know if she was still talking to the nigga that went to my school. I guess wasn't treating her right. So she needed somebody that was gonna treat right. No. <laughs> yeah, boy. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I guess they stopped talking, maybe. I don't know what the fuck was going on. All of a sudden, sending me some things. And I was like, Snapchat me that pussy. Okay. I remember there was this girl that, um, well, best friends with the guy that she was talking to before. You feel me? And people could see that she was my number one best friend. And people could see that I was her number one best friend. So there was no secrets. Low key, Snapchat used to be the best. For real, like, like, oh, that's your best friend. Like, if I, I was Snapchatting a girl and I saw her best friend was another nigga, I'd be like, bitch, you bugging. You couldn't talk to nobody without somebody knowing. So people saw what was going on. She said to me one time, she Snapchatted me. She was like, oh, I see your best friend on Snapchat. And I was like, so? And, and this is where everything got fucked up. Uh, everything just went like this. And she's like, I bet you can't hit or I bet you can't hook up with her or something like she that. She bet you? She bet me. And then I was kind of like, duh, I can hit. No, I, but I didn't even say it. I promise you guys, I promise on my life. I said to her, why would I make a bet on that? Like, what type of guy do you think I am? And then um, she was like, oh, it's probably just because you can't do it or whatever and this yeah, and that. She was trying to and then I was kind of like, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> bet, I'm a hit. <laughs> she tricked me, bruh. She tricked me and I was set up. So I bet her and I didn't even think about it. Like, I was just kind of joking. It was kind of like, okay. <laughs> She got so fucked up, it's not even funny. Anywho, we were talking and and like she told me she was like, oh, like come over. You were a girl? Yeah. She was just like that? I mean, it was probably way more complex <laughs> than that. But at the end of the day, she said come over. I didn't even have my license at the time. You trust was already driving? I was whipping it, boy. <laughs> so I pulled up and like like I asked her, I was like, oh, do you wanna do whatever? She lets me in. I see her mom and I'm like, oh shit, why the fuck? I was like, hey, what's up? We get inside the house and she takes me to her room on everything. As soon as I take two steps in the room, she's on top of me, like jump. <laughs> now we're on the bed, we're kissing shit, whatever. But her door's open and I was kind of like. After like a few minutes, she was like, oh, like my mom's here. So like, we can't do nothing. And I was like, okay. I'm a virgin anyway. <laughs> I ain't never did shit before I anyway. Did, I mean, you feel me? did you know you were a virgin? No, to this day, probably still doesn't know. You know what's crazy? Like over time, I've actually learned that it's not a big deal, but women actually like when guys are virgins. I was I wasn't because, taking that risk. Because it's kinda like just out here just being a hope, just being a stop. Like girls actually like guys, you know that like respect them, respect themselves, and respect other women. For all you V card pedestrians out there, it's okay. Wait for the time is right. Wait for your time. Don't chase it, let it chase you. So she was like, oh, we can't do nothing because my mom's here and I was kind of like, okay. And then right after, 
seconds after she said, but if we leave, I said, what? <laughs> I said, like, what you say? She was like, if we leave what, bitch? She was like, if we leave, I could give you a little motherfucking, little, damn, like that, bro? She was like, but if we leave, I can give you head. And I was like, what are we still doing here? Let's go. <laughs> and I just asked her, I was like, oh, do you just want to go to my house? Yeah, sure. So I'm driving and she was like, I promise you, she was so blunt about everything she said. She was like, I would give you right now, but I don't want you to crash. And I was like, I ain't gonna crash. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna crash. <laughs> oh my God. I have my license, I ain't have shit, you feel me? I was just bugging. But we get to the house, get inside, and like my family was there, a lot of my family. <laughs> and I saw my, my aunt and I saw my mom and I looked at them and I started walking to the room <laughs> and my mom, matter of fact, it wasn't even my mom, it was my aunt. She was like, you're not even going to introduce us. Da, 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 da. And I was like, <laughs> damn. I felt awkward because I never really brought a girl home before. You feel me? And I introduced them. Then I went to the room and then my mom came to the door. And my mom was like, just lock the door. And I was like, just lock the door. Okay. <laughs> I was like, you got it. <laughs> and... Knock them ankles loose, baby! We got to business. Just like that. The rest is history. It was the day after, and the other girl ended up Snapchatting me. The girl that I made a bet with. She was just talking shit to me, and I was like, you owe me $5. And then she was kind of like, oh, so you did it? As soon as that happened, I was like, I fucked up. Because we made a fucking bet. So it was kind of like- You only did it. For just the because of the bet. Shit's so fucked up right now. Uh, maybe this shit won't bite me in the ass. That wasn't the reason that I did it, you feel me? Like, I actually liked the girl, and I felt like such an asshole, I promise you guys. It wasn't even an hour later, she snitches. She snitches, bruh. And the girl calls my phone and she was like, the nigga that she was talking to before me told her that I made a bet. And I was like, this whole shit is fucked up. And at the end of the day, I'm the bad guy. And that's not even like who I am. Like that's not even like what I was trying to do. She ends up like hating me, understood. The nigga that she used to talk to hated me, understood. And that's just how everything ended. That's how the cookie crumbled. I really fucked this shit up. But it's okay. Hmm. Cause you lost your V card. I guess. I'm a great story. All right. Me, on the other hand, I lost my virginity the summer after eighth grade going into ninth grade. Whoa, you're so cool. <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. That shit don't matter. So I lost it to a girl named, I'm not going to tell you her name, but I'm going to just call her Tiffany. I was in eighth grade. She was in ninth grade going into 10th grade. I used to hang out with this kid named Joe. And Joe was a bad influence on me. Like Joe was always like hanging out with like the bad crowd and stuff. And I didn't do that stuff, but I was around it a lot. One night Joe invites me to a party and it's like, yo bro, you know, we about to be lit. We about to have a whole bunch of girls, you know what I'm saying? Mind you, Joe is like telling me how like he be hooking up with girls every weekend. He be mm, <laughs> like every day. I go to a party. But Tiffany was there. Tiffany was a girl that I used to like talk to on the low, even though she was older than me. And she, but she was always kind of like embarrassed me. Like she would never want to like talk to me in public. <laughs> she said, don't you tell nobody. At the party, everyone's having a good time. And I see, I see Tiffany. I go up to her like in public. She was kind of curving me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Everyone ended up wanting to go to the pool. Everyone goes outside, girls are jumping in the pool, guys are jumping in the pool. And then me and Tiffany are to like the side of the house, like in the, bush, like in the bushes, you feel me? They just started like kissing and stuff. As a young man, when you get excited, a reaction happens. You know, my reaction, no. you know what I'm talking about? Like it went, and I think she noticed that. She started feeling up on my reaction. My reaction exploded before it even got <laughs> out my pants. But honestly, I ain't know what was going on. She took full control. I don't know if she had did it before. I don't know nothing. All I know is started. Like a I was kind of just like, <laughs> oh shit, what's going on? She just pulled out section. My dog is totally lost. You had that in your pocket? I ain't come prepared, she oh. did. The rest is history. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of like quick because it was like behind the house at a party, you know, and we were in the bushes, like making out in the dirt. But it happened nonetheless. That was my first time. It's crazy because after that night, you know, I thought like, like we got something special going on here. But I never saw her again up until like school starts. So 
ninth grade here. I'm in high school for the first time, freshman in high school. And you know, I see her, I would walk up to her, and be like, hey, what's good, Tiffany? And she just avoided me at all costs. Like, why is she doing that? She would text me throughout the summer. As soon as school started, she just ghosted me and she just, she just dropped me. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. That's our story for today. We're almost there at 20K vlogs, new videos. New music videos coming out. Stay tuned. Be ready. 340 gang. Let's fucking take this shit over. YouTube, we coming for you.